welcome you to South Africa and we thank you so much for joining us. I'd like to introduce to you Prof Barry and Prof Anderson, a little bit older professor than you. <laughs> So I want to typically, in a Da Vinci style, take the discussion on this matter to a different level, Professor Bari. So could you consider that when we talk gender and gender equality, that we could be trapped in a duality where we think of males and females? Do we see an emergence of other genders? Uh, um, well, I think that's more for on a biological perspective, uh, the uh, evolving of another gender, another kind of chromosome. I think that's a kind of weird subject that we should not touch on, and maybe it would, <laughs> and maybe it would have the sort of effects that, uh, and maybe it would have even worse effects than the sex equity things we have now, with women being pushed down on men. If there was some kind of secret third gender, then th that would be stigmatized even more than this kind of thing already. So I feel like that would be a very weird issue, and we should probably not touch on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so having raised the red card, I think you must consider when you and Dr. Zane meet in 20 years' time that we may have maybe a proliferation of genders and there may be four, five or six genders. Yeah.